What's going on, YouTube? My name's Alex. This is Ask the Cheese Gaming. Happy Spooktember, everybody. In celebration of all things Halloween, I'm going to take a look at Doom. The reboot was developed by It Software and published by Bethesda Softworks, with a North American release date of May 13th, 2016. It was released for Xbox One, PlayStation 4, Windows, Steam, Stadia, and later, in 2020, Switch. The story for this game goes, the year is 2149. Hordes of demons have overrun the Union Aerospace Corporation facility on a, the planet of Mars. Dr. Samuel Hayden, who heads the facility, has decided to revive Doomguy to clear out the facility and take back Mars. Hayden and his team were researching Arginant I may be butching that. Arginent energy because of a horrible energy crisis that's happening on Earth. They were hoping that by tapping into the power supply of the energy through rifts in hell, they could then siphon the energy and send it back to Earth. Now, Doom Guy has been brought back for another romp through hell. Overall, this game actually handles very well. The controls are seamless and allow you to quickly change weapons on the fly, which you're going to need to do a ton. You will need every single pistol, shotgun, machine gun, and weapon upgrade, and the newcomer to this game, Chainsaw. The Chainsaw actually runs on gasoline, so it's a bit limited on ammo, but it's a lot of fun to use. Going to need all these weapons to stop the hordes of enemy demons that are in your path. Strafing, pinpoint aim, and speed and accuracy are going to be the name of the game to survive in Doom 2016. Now next, I'd like to briefly touch on the music and sound effects. Anyone who has nostalgia for the original PC port is going to feel right at home. Every weapon feels unique, with an awesome oomph behind every single one of them. Whenever you melee enemies... They flash blue, and if you melee them correctly, it rewards you with a nice sound effect as you achieve what's called a gory kill. Doom's music likewise fits the overall theme and motif of the game, with kind of a nice mix of hard rock and grunge that really helps get your blood pumping while you're struggling to survive and blasting everything in your path. Now... Just like the Doom games of old, this game is also filled with tons of secret power-ups and items and other secrets that are littered throughout the levels. So be aware of that as you're playing through the single-player campaign. I could definitely say that Doom really rewards the player who takes the time to wander off the beaten path and really try to explore every single nook and cranny, whether it's getting a special upgrade for your Praetor suit for the Doom guy, or unlocking that new weapon upgrade so you can help slaughter more demons. In this game, there's also other modes besides just the single-player campaign. There's multiplayer mode, which is kind of just a generic first-person shooter online. So if you love online shooters, you'll enjoy this. But beyond that, there's nothing really special to say. It's got your typical, you know, King of the Hill, Domination, Team Deathmatch, and so forth. And a new neat feature in this game, which is called Snap Map, which is actually a map editor for single player and multiplayer games. And this, by unlocking certain features in the single player campaign, you can create your own map. So, hey, that's kind of cool. But overall, to answer the question, is Doom 2016 worth adding to your collection and playing today? Well... If you've been looking for a faithful reboot of the Doom franchise, then absolutely, I'd say go ahead, pick this game up, and have a blast with it. Fun little fact about this game, originally it was supposed to be worked on in 2008 under the working title of Doom 4, but unfortunately it got stuck in development hell until eventually Bethesda Softworks decided to reboot the franchise entirely, and now we have Doom 2016 today. This game also did later on receive a sequel, Doom Eternals. Doom Eternal, excuse me, which I might try to review somewhere down the line. Thanks for watching, everybody. Until next time.